What is up everybody? Thanks for watching another episode. Today it involves paramotoring and this one's kind of funny. It's actually a very short clip uh, but what's funny about it is we're doing a tandem and the catch is I'm not the pilot this time. My buddy Keith is and I, I'm the passenger. The day that we took off uh, the density altitude was pretty high. We are on a Monster 313. I should say a, Mo a Hearth 313, not a Monster. It's called a Monster. There's an N in there. Uh, 313 cc's. It's on a fresh breeze frame. Good stout engine. I mean, the thrust numbers are so-so, uh, but it's a good, solid, reliable engine. I believe the wing that we were flying was a Hadron 34 Cabrio, which I've flown those in the past. Phenomenal wing. Um, even at the altitude that we're at, we're at 5,700 feet density altitude that day probably was close to maybe six or seven, maybe even more. I mean, it was, it was a pretty warm day. So I weigh about 153, 155 on a good day. Keith, he's 200 plus. No offense, Keith, if you're watching this, he, he's a big fella, six foot something. He's burly. So it was a pretty heavily loaded tandem to begin with on top of the factor of a pretty high density altitude. On another factor is fairly tall grass on the runway and a very short field before there was a school and trees and other various objects to clear. So this is paramotoring. There's not a lot of uh, 50 foot clear the obstacle type of calculations that you would have in general aviation. Uh, it's kind of uh, Fred Flintstone your butt or sit in a seat with wheels and hope that you clear that tree. And it's kind of funny because I'm never the passenger. I'm always the pilot. It's a control thing. And when I do decide to be the passenger, I'm always a little bit on edge because A, I'm in the front. So I'm the first guy to hit whatever we're going to hit. And uh, Keith's a great pilot. It's just, it's funny because I was midway. You'll see the video, my facial reaction. I'm like, I don't think we're gonna get off the ground before that tree in that building. And well, you're just gonna have to watch it and find out and if we do actually get off the ground. And uh, well, that's the joys of paramotoring. It's, it's this kind of barnstorming-esque, will it fly? Will it fly with us as an overloaded payload? And that's <laughs> why so I love the sport. So just check it out. Let me know what you think. I have a bunch of other videos that I'm going to be posting through general flying shenanigans and just fun stuff and cool adventures. So also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And I always love having new, new subscribers and love to hear your stories and your adventures. And it's just a cool community. So thanks for watching and enjoy the video.